with chocolate deli belge. We're having a real Charlie in the chocolate factory moment with this fountain. This is my fifth of the season. How many beers did we have? Except Mam's making an admission to outdrink me every single time. Look at that tree. Everybody, how you doing? I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to another festive Christmas vlog. I'm not in London, as you can tell by the nice silky montages I filmed before this. I'm in Brussels. We're in Brussels. We've came to Belgium. We've came to Belgium for uh, three nights. No, two nights. Two nights. Um, so today is Thursday, the 12th of December. It's a very important day in the UK um, because it's the day the general election is happening. But we're not going to bore you with that. Um, so me and my mum say hello. 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 Um, hello. Hello. Um, we've just arrived in Brussels. We dropped our cases off at the hotel, and now we are on our on foot, exploring. And um, it's quite nippy, or cold. <laughs> I said that before, and someone said, "What does nippy mean?" Cold. Except in southern. You can see your breath. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite chilly. So we're just going to head. The first, I think, point of call is the the Grand Palace that definitely came up on Google as a place to definitely check out. So, and a kind local Brussels man just told us where it was. <laughs> so I was like, where are we going? <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that's the plan. And then um, I'll just catch you guys as and when. I feel like I'm just going to pick the camera up randomly when an inspiration hits or when we're having beer. I'll probably be both. So we've just made it to our hotel room and it's very nice. We're staying at the Grand Hubert Hotel. It's a very modest room, um, but we've got a little Nespresso machine over here, which looks lovely. Hello, that's what I'm wearing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's a bit like Art Deco modern slash-ish. We're just doing a little bit of unpacking. And this is the toilet slash bathroom. Very modern, very nice indeed. The flight was brilliant, actually. The flight was literally 40 minutes. Um, we, we boarded and it was up and out and done. Absolutely fantastic, and they allowed us to check it check in at 10 a.m., which is brilliant. Usually, you have to wait with your bags, so that's fab. Just gonna have a quick freshen up in the hotel room. I'm gonna have a wander around Brussels. I'm very excited. How nifty is this? There's like a fully functional, excellent Nespresso machine in the hotel. This is the hotel we're staying at as well. It's very, very nice. Look at the tree. It's stunning. Sorry to anyone who's from Belgium, but Mama's just said it's no Buckingham Palace. But I mean, on the contrary, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So we don't think this actually is the Royal Palace. Do correct me down below if you've been before, but it's, it's brilliant. It's huge. So I think we need to head that way towards the centre. What that looks like. Does it? I don't know. There's trams here too, which makes it even more confusing. This does look like the centre. You're right, further down. Yes, we stumbled across our first chocolate shop and mum's just gone straight in. <laughs> Four euros for our chocolate? That's, is that good? <laughs> oh my god, look how nice all this looks though. All the little truffles. <gasps> Amazing. Belgium all of about 10 minutes and we've came out with some macaroons and some chocolate truffles. <laughs> I went for a um, classic vanilla macaron and I went for a caramel macaron and then she went for what chocolate did you get? Me an orange. An orange and I went for coffee. Merci. Did you eat the whole thing? Oh wow. Oh no that's pepper isn't it? No I think oh, that's chocolate. So apparently that chocolate here uh, is chocolate, chocolate deli belge. And um, they've been making chocolate since 1938. And then I got for a chocolate and here's a lot. Coffee and here's a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's that, Mum? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that it is um, <laughs> 11 a.m. and Mum has already opened the beer menu. <laughs> when in Belgium, you have to have Belgian beer.
Look how amazing this is. It's like a proper old um, arcade, like that uh, Burlington one in London. <gasps> oh, I think Godiva might have actually started here. Also in the back of someone's news report. Where? Right there. It might be on Belgian news. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I think we might have just stumbled across the most expensive chocolate truffles in Belgium. Oh, they're Pierre Macron. Oh, of course. No, no, he's a really famous um, pastry chef who also does confectionery. They're 49 euros for truffles. One thing is for sure, the Belgians do an incredible Christmassy window display. Look how fantastic this looks. Oh, it's all like nougat and stuff. Oh my god. Look at how good this looks. So mum's just having a little look in one of the stores and I've just spotted these little wafers but they're in the shape of like ballerina slippers. And we think this might be either Turkish Delight or Nougatine, we're not really sure. This literally all looks absolutely incredible. Look at all these little caramels and toffees and the Nougatine. So we've come to the conclusion that if you are living in Brussels you have very exquisite jewellery taste and also a fine taste in chocolates and patisserie so yeah I'm moving <laughs> whenever I walk past any form of plant shop or store I have to just go inside and the smell is amazing we've just spotted some Christmas decorations and these are quite nice this little um, snowman but they're glass they're only 2 95 it's almost like a tradition everywhere we go now, we get something to remember the trip. I love that. Guys, for those of you who know how much I love my cooking, this is just like a dream. We actually do need some new salt and pepper mills. They're lovely. Oh, wow. It's such like a kitchen of dreams. This is so good. These are really good as well for little herbs and things. They've got all the different types of twines here as well. They've got like the red twine, the blue. Green Belgian cookbooks. Yes, yes, and yes. Literally everything and of the above. Like, look how amazing all of this looks. Just spotted these. How cool is that? They've got little um, a recipe that's written out for scones, and then all the ingredients you need to make them with lemon curd. That's so cool. I love that. Genuinely, I think I would be ginormous if I lived here. Look at the croissant. Chocolat. I think this guy's doing some stool waffles or Belgian waffles. Look at that. One thing I can confirm is that waffles, Belgian buns, cookies, and chocolate seems to be the fuel of Brussels. <laughs> and coffee, lots of coffee. And we've just stumbled across the Christmas markets now. Oh, literally smell. How good does that smell? <gasps> okay, so we've just stumbled across a mulled wine stall, and of course, I had. Ding dong! I have um, an inability to walk past a mulled wine stall without getting one. If you've watched me for long enough now, we actually went to Stockholm this time last year. And do you remember when we ordered two of the Glukenwein, I think that's how they say it? Basically it was like warm wine in Stockholm. And, and it was like, like 30, 30 euros, yeah. or 30 Swedish kronas. Squidge what? Swedish kronas. Oh, I thought you said Squidge. Squidge kronas. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a lot of money. And then we were like, oh, I should get a shot of brandy, yeah! And it was even worse. This was, um, was supposed to be three euros, but we've just paid four because I think we're she realised they were British and they like ripped us off. But anyway, it's delicious, it's very warm. I think Brussels wins for the outdoor displays, genuinely. Just everything is so Christmassy. We just walked into, I think, like the main square where Brussels' Christmas tree is, and it's absolutely ginormous. Let me get a bit closer because I think the light's not being great, but wow. This is what I had in mind when I thought about Belgium. Now that is a tree. But, um, I know how we said that the mulled wines were three euros and they were actually four and they charge us four because we're British. No. <laughs> they charge everyone four and then if you return the cups, I think you get your money back. But no, for the, no. no. I've just given them to a lady, a lady who was homeless and said, Madame, I take your cup and she take, took the cup. 
and then I think, yeah. <laughs> we live and learn. You've done a good deed, I guess. Uh, I suppose I have. Yeah. Hey ho. <laughs> so we've come to a place that does traditional raclette, which is like melted oozy cheese on top of potatoes and meats. I'm so, so excited. It smells like a cheese lover's dream. So good. So this is a traditional raclette. I don't think it's actually Belgian, but it's basically potatoes with two types of cheese from garlic and classic, rocket onions, pickles and ham. Yes. Now. We're having a real Charlie in the Chocolate Factory moment with this fountain. It just all smells so, so good. I think she's like cutting all of the chocolate on. She's making chocolate in the moulds. So mum's just spotted this place and it's called Drug Opera and it is possibly the most classically Belgian, slightly tacky. I do tacky. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, sorry to the, if this is to anyone's taste, but wow. Incredible. We are going to hit up Primark because it's bitterly cold and mum needs a chunkier scarf and I need some gloves so we're just looking at the menu. We have noticed food's actually not too badly priced in Brussels but dinner seems to be a little bit more on the expensive side. I feel like that's with most European cities though. Primark has well and truly sorted us out. I'm now gloved up. Mam, where are you? Cozy. <laughs> you look like a blanket. <laughs> it's four degrees. It feels like two. It feels like minus two. It's cold. Oh my god, we are finally doing the waffle stop. I am so, so excited. So we are stopping for a waffle. They smell so good, not to. Um, Mum's gone for a classic Nutella, and I've gone for Nutella and strawberries because I need a little bit of something to cut through that, but Mum is just chocolate all the way, aren't you? Bless you. I think we're gonna eat these, having a little wander through, and then head back to the hotel and just freshen up for this evening because it's bitterly cold. It's only two o'clock. No, it's not. <laughs> I feel like we've been awake since the dawn of time. That's what yeah. getting up at 3 a.m. does to you. Merci. Merci. Let's put it in with your mouth. Yeah. So we spotted this place earlier. It's called La Pharmacie Anglaise and it is a cocktail and curiosity bar. And literally, it's kind of like what I can describe as a um, apothecary. It's literally incredible. Mum's just sat there. They've given us the table for an hour and a half. There's just like all cool little things like this, like old books. The carpet's amazing. Literally, it looks incredible. So the cocktails have just arrived, and I've gone for what can only be described as like a white Russian, but with a hedonist slash steampunk twist and mum's gone for a classic Hendrix and tonic. How good do these look? Okay, so we just finished up in that very, very nice cocktail bar. If you are ever in the Brussels area or you are coming to Brussels, um, definitely check out that place. It was delicious. It was a little bit expensive for what it was, but it's like you pay for the experience. Um, and they recommended a very nice restaurant, apparently. Might be fully booked. We've tried four restaurants so far, and each restaurant that we've tried to book has been fully booked. So, great. <laughs> Love that, um, but this place is called Skibalat. 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 The guy in the bar said it's traditional Brussels Brussels cuisine. Belgian, sorry, traditional Belgian cuisine. I think it'll just be like meats and cheeses or something. That sounds good to me. We can but try. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the okay, so we had success. The restaurant that the bartender recommended was actually brilliant. It's traditional Belgian, and we bought it to Cruz uh, Beer, which is large beer. Lef, Lefe, Lefe. Cheers. It's as big as my head. Do you know when in Belgium? So this is the um, traditional Belgian starter that we're having. It's a mix array of meatballs and meats, and then this is deep fried parmesan. Oh, mum. Okay. So we've just had some of this put on the table, and it's Dallas 
Brussels ketchup um, to go with our french fries and mum's just tried it and said it's really nice it's so delicious. We're ending our day with, well, the remains of a mulled wine and mum's gone for a glass of wine after she tormented the waiter. <laughs> She's like, so sweet. is the mulled wine sweet? <laughs> I think as uh, we can't even claim mulled wine as our own in the UK because we make it and it's not ours. It's German and the German it wine is sweet. I know, sweet. I know, I know. So mum's having a glass of um, house white, ever so classy. I'm going to finish our mulled wine and then tomorrow we are going to be heading to Bruges. So I'm going to end this day here. We're just going to go behind the back to our hotel and have an early one because so we're going to catch the train from Brussels Central. Brussels, yeah, Brussels Central to Bruges and takes about an hour. Um, so we can spend the whole day. Smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me why. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Today is. Uh, Friday the 13th <laughs> um, We've just arrived in Bruges. We got the train this morning. Sorry, you're in very close proximity to me Basically, I've got my umbrella up. It's raining <laughs> As it did in Edinburgh as it did in Paris seems to be a running theme wherever I do tend to it's a bit cold. It is nice. just, just trying to um Whittle an hour parade, but fingers crossed. Oh This is the wind. Oh, it's the wind of me. Um, fingers crossed. It'll stop by two o'clock. So hopefully We'll have a little bit of dryness for the rest of the day. We're in Bruges for the whole day today because it only took an hour on the train, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, we're heading into the, the centre of Bruges and hopefully going to have a day full of chocolate and waffles and beer and nice buildings to look at. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smile. Oh my god, look how cozy this is. Oh, I love that. I'm having a little wander in. Oh, stop it. Every European city we come to, we have to pop into the Hema because it is just so Christmassy. It's up. We've got all these little cute baubles, which look so nice with all the other initials on. Me and Zara don't need any more baubles, but they look so cool. Little crackers. Oh my god, inflatable Christmas decorations. Look at that candy cane. <laughs> oh my goodness, hand decorated chocolate letters. <gasps> what? I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's them. <laughs> Should we get this dog costume for Ivy, Mum? Have you seen it? It's a hot dog. What is it? A hot dog costume. No. She's a cool dog though. Got a lovely little selection of um, edibles and Hema as well. I just saw these. These were actually spotted yesterday in Brussels, but they're 3.50 and you get two of them with candy canes. It's a nice little present. Crackling corks. There's some for the birds even. Oh my God. They think, guys, Bruges is magical, even in the rain. So we've just stopped off for a little coffee to get out the rain and we've ordered a waffle. Go ahead. And the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. So, the place we just got that amazing waffle is called Sala Sucre, and it was absolutely incredible. So, it's currently absolutely chucking it down in Bruges, so we've burrowed ourselves away in this really, really cozy little pub slash bar. Um, it's called the Rose Red Cafe, and it's, well, essentially exactly what it says in the name. It's a, um, so yes, it's, it's amazing. It's apparently built in the 1600s, which is crazy, and it's just a lovely little place to grab a Belgian beer. So that's exactly what we're doing. Chin chin. Cheers. Except Mam's making an admission to outdrink me every single time, so I need to catch up. Round two, Mum's choice, with more Michael Bublé. I'm an example <laughs> of my mother does not listen to what she's told. The bartender just said, leave the beard set up because it's a frozen glass, and what she just done, topped it up. Ladies and gents, I would love to disrupt this 
beautiful interlude with the third beer now, which is gluten free. Gristel Bile. Got that at James on, which is improving from Michael Bublé. In my eyes. Oh, good. Is this Edda James? This yeah, is Edda James. Like probably no, this isn't Edda James. <laughs> Maybe it is Edda James. I don't know. Probably, probably, probably right. Right. Finished up in the um, pub. How many beers did we have? Four beers. <laughs> Four beers. Eight in total, right? Oh, yeah. Eight Belgian beers. And um, we need food now. <laughs> Basically, the way we the way we thought about it is that we knew it was stopping raining at two o'clock, and it's half past two. Oh, I've just been dripped on. It's half past one. It's half one. Half earlier, but we wanted to have a look around the Christmas markets, but it was just silly to do that while well, it was raining. So we're gonna have a look around them now. Well, I'm all. It's the how many how many breakfasts? <laughs> Hello. I think we've had about five breakfasts now coming up to the Christmas lead up. Mum hasn't had one breakfast, bless her, but this is my fifth of the season. This might be the best. Cheers. Look at this. Oh yeah, thank you. Hop over the pool. Look how magical this is. That is a big old tree, isn't it? Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that smoke. So we've um, stumbled across the canals in Bruges and apparently I just when I was googling it to try and find these it said that Bruges is the Venice of the north, obviously the Venetian canals is quite similar. It's very beautiful. I don't know if we're heading in the right direction to see more. Apparently there's like a river. I think it might be that way actually. That and through. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight. Well, we are back in Brussels. Um, we got the train back about an hour ago from Bruges. It was a really, really nice day out. The rain didn't stop till about midday, two o'clock ish, so. We just crammed the rest of what we could do into the time we had. But now me and Mum are in the mood for like a hamburger. So we went to a really nice restaurant that we found on Google. Um, and the rain has stopped in Brussels as well, which is brilliant. It's supposed to be like somewhat raining tomorrow, so fingers crossed it'll be okay. But yeah, back in Brussels to have a lovely little dinner and then head back to our hotel because we are knackered. Come true, the love I live, the dream I knew, this Christmas I only Wanna be close to you Oh my lord These look incredible, they're literally the size of my hand Okay, we both just came to the conclusion that Brussels at night is just even more stunning Look at that tree Breakfast pit stop number three. Oh my god, we've come to a place that does apparently the best beer goes in Brussels. And mum has got mozzarella and oh, you've got a bit of pesto on there as well, and uh, balsamic and tomato. And I've gone for bacon and egg and cream cheese. So this was the place where we just got breakfast. It was called Jet or uh, Jet. Um, it's really good beer goes, really delicious. Now um, I guess we just go for a little wonder. So this is um, a Christmas present I'm gonna get for. Anne and Dave Martin Uncle and it's in this really cool shop, it's called Le Boutique Gourmand. It's so old, it's literally amazing. We're just trying the queue. Look, they've got all the chocolates. Do you remember when you got Billy those one year? Our last day in Brussels today and we're heading into the centre, well we are in the centre actually. And we're just going to do the last few bits and bobs of shopping. I've got Anne and Dave some chocolates as you just saw. Um, Mum's going to potentially get Billy a couple of presents so she doesn't have to bother doing that when she gets home. We're being productive, semi-productive. But um, yeah, we've got about four and a half hours until we've got to go back. Just a bit in there. But we do have a lovely day tomorrow as well and I'm going to be vlogging that in a separate video. So yeah, that's the plan. And the rain is holding off so far so good. Mum asked me what, she want, what I wanted for Christmas and I said a kitchen is, but not one that big. Maybe just one like that. <laughs> Literally ginormous.
how is Brussels? Dry. <laughs> Incredibly dry. Okay, so we are now in Brussels Airport and I think the last time I actually picked my camera out was when the rain was just ruining everything. That actually wasn't planned, but we were on a lovely walk to the park and then um I didn't spit my dummy out, I just got really frustrated because it literally did nothing but rain, give or take. And end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed coming around Belgium with us. We had we've had a lovely time, but we're literally in the airport about the train got so quick, didn't it? Literally 15 minutes. Yeah. We got to the airport super quick, so we've got like an hour and a half to chill. Gonna do some more editing and um, just got some chips and a coffee. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed having a look around Belgium, these are gonna be the last of the Christmas markets. I know I've literally done Oxford, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Bath, Brussels, Bruges. We've Christmas vibe everything now. And um, there's gonna be more Christmas vlogs coming very soon. But if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.